Tom Yamas in for David tonight, and we begin with the passing of a Hollywood legend and an American original. Carrie Fisher, whose role as Princess Leia in Star Wars vaulted her to pop culture immortality, died today in Los Angeles with her family by her side. She was 60 years old. Fisher, who publicly and at times humorously battled personal demons, went into cardiac arrest on a flight to Los Angeles Friday. The tributes pouring in as we come on the air. Her Star Wars co-star, Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker, tweeting, no words, hashtag devastated. That sentiment echoed tonight across the entertainment galaxy. ABC's Matt Gutman begins our coverage in Hollywood tonight. Tonight, the world is more... Hey, all right, United Airlines. We have our uh, one of our international flights coming in from London. It's about 10 minutes out, and it's a medical emergency for a passenger in two Fox what, uh, what satellite? Uh, Terminal 7, gate 74. Terminal 7, hold on a second. Three, four, gate 74? Gate 74, yes. Alpha, Bravo, or? No, it's just 74. Okay. okay. Yep. And what's the airline again? Uh, United Airlines. What's the flight number? 935 from London. LHR. <clears throat> and you're call you're calling uh, from United Airlines, United right? Direct Operations. Operations. Okay. What's uh, your call back? And what is the United age of the patient? The uh, pa age of the patient. Female. And what's wrong with her? No. What's wrong? Really. What's wrong with her? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Let's Okay, let's see, uh, two. I already told Marley. Yeah, I'll call the supervisor and then I'll call them. Okay, we can and then I'll call them. Thanks, Mark. What's the newest ETA on that? They said 1228. 1228. Okay, and what's the ETA? 1228? Yeah, no, it's making up time. I would. It's It's in 10 minutes. They'll be on the ground in 10 minutes. So, let's see here. Oh, ten
Chester Bennington singing the song Numb with his band Linkin Park, and his voice has gone silent forever. Bennington was found dead in a home near Los Angeles Thursday morning. Authorities say it may have been... Bennington is survived by his wife and six children, and this comes only months after Soundgarden's Chris Cornell, a close friend of Bennington's, committed suicide. Fans and friends of the singer have been filling the internet with tributes. His bandmate, Mike Shinoda, was one of the first to tweet, saying, shocked and heartbroken, but it's true. The band One Republic tweeted, oh dear God, massive RIP to Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. This breaks our heart. Suicide is the devil on earth walking amongst us. Another band, Smash Mouth, tweeted, RIP Chester, one of the biggest talents in the history of music. Thoughts and prayers to the people closest to him. And this from uh, talk show host Jimmy Kimmel. Chester was one of the kindest men I've had on my show. My heart breaks for his family and friends. He will be missed terribly. 911, what's your emergency? Hi there. Um, I just, I'm working. I'm a driver. And okay. I just got to the location, and his housekeeper came out and said that he, he unfortunately killed himself. Okay, so um, the person came out and said somebody is, in fact, is killed yeah, himself? I, I, haven't, I haven't seen him. I'm, I'm sitting in the car. His housekeeper came up to me and said that he, she found him dead. Okay, stay on the phone, okay? Um, is okay. she able to talk to see if there's any kind of breathing or anything like that? Yeah, she's, I, I asked. I said, is he, is he cold? Is he warm? And she said, no, he's, he's, he's dead. He's been hanging, and she's talking to his wife right now. Okay, stay on the phone. I'm going to transfer to the fire department. Stay on the line, okay? Thank you. PV7 Lincoln 11, 7 Lincoln 12. Uh, County Fire 83. Hey, it's Phoebe uh, with the transfer sir. Go ahead and talk to her, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so I just got on location. I'm, I'm a driver. Just, um, was trying to pick up, uh, and his housekeeper came out and said that he unfortunately killed himself. He, he hung himself. He's in his room. So. Okay, what's what's the address where you're at? Are you at a home or an apartment? It's, it's a home. And uh, what yep. city are you in? Um, Palos Verdes Estates. Okay, and do you know the closest cross street there on the corner? I don't, to be honest. That's okay. What's your phone number, area code? Thanks. And how old is he? Um, mid forties. Mid forties. Okay. Yeah. And he he's hung himself in the room. That's what his housekeeper said. I I haven't been in the house. I haven't seen him. Is that the housekeeper I can hear behind you? Yeah. Okay. So She's you haven't to his wife. you haven't been inside at all? No, not at all. Okay. Just yep. have everybody wait outside of the room, and um, paramedics and the PD will be there shortly. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs>
details this morning on the deaths of Fast and Furious star Paul Walker and his friend killed in a fiery car accident over the weekend. Investigators working right now to determine the cause of the wreck. ABC's Cecilia Vega has the story. He is the speed demon who rose to fame in the Fast and Furious blockbusters. And now, this real life twist that all too closely mirrors the movies he made. We have confirmed two DUA. This morning, new details in the joyride that ended in a fiery crash taking actor Paul Walker's life. The driver, Walker's friend, Roger Rodas, was a pro racer with championship titles to his name. He's this is not his first driver. time driving a car like that. Right. That's why I'm shocked. He's driven cars faster than this. A Porsche Carrera GT that can hit speeds of up to 240 miles per hour, reportedly being sold for more than $300,000 and so difficult to handle, even professional drivers called it scary. On Saturday, both men attended a toy drive-in car show for Walker's charity, Reach Out Worldwide. Here's Walker with that Porsche in one of the last known videos of the 40-year-old star. They pulled out of the parking lot slow. They Jim Torp spoke to both men just before they rode off. The crash happened in a business park just a few blocks away, minutes after they left. What was the last thing you heard Paul say? Hey, I'll be right back in five minutes. That was the last words I heard. They struck a tree and a pole. Both men pronounced dead on the scene. The mangled car unrecognizable. The pole bent in two. Fast and Furious co-star Tyrese Gibson among the throngs of mourners who visited the scene, leaving in tears. It's been a while since I've been behind the wheel of one of these. Walker had been on break from filming Fast and Furious 7. Evacuate him, come on. He also has another movie scheduled for release in two weeks. In it's hours, funny. Walker plays a father it's trying to save his baby daughter so during strange. Hurricane you're Katrina. Been St. Mary's Hospital, I got a baby, I need to rescue me. And Walker is survived by a 15-year-old daughter, Meadow. This is that scene where he crashed and died, Robin. Police now say that speed was a factor. I know they're going to continue to look into it. Cecilia, thank you. Angel 156, LA. LA 156, we're almost on scene. We got smoke showing. Copy. CHP is now saying you have a report of salation and Hercules. Do you want another response there? Negative standby. We're on scene. LA 156, we're on scene. We have one vehicle fully involved. Continue 76 for now. Copy 76, continue. It's responding Ry King and Ann Kelly Johnson. 156, fully involved vehicle. LA engine 156. 156, five. We have confirmed two DUA. It's our battalion six. Cancel is seventy six. Cancel squad one eleven. This will be a code end. Also we'll call this a Rye incident. Engine one fifty six will be Rye IC. Fire's not down. Copy canceling squad in ambulance. And at this time you said code in. And did you also need a code D? That's affirmative. Code D. Again, confirm two fatalities. So did you mean code N or a code D only? LA1 code, code N and code D. Copy code N and D.
Cecilia Vega, who joins us live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. Cecilia? Yes, good morning, George. It happened here at 3.43 yesterday afternoon when a member of Houston's entourage located her body inside this hotel. So far, police and the coroner are refusing to offer details about what may have caused her tragic death. Exactly what happened inside the iconic Beverly Hilton remains a mystery. Paramedics raced to the fourth floor and found a lifeless Whitney Houston inside her hotel room bathtub. They tried in vain to resuscitate her with CPR. At 3.55 p.m. this afternoon, Whitney Houston was pronounced dead at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. The scene inside her room was chaotic. ABC has learned it appears members of Houston's entourage found her unresponsive body and called hotel security. But just about a half hour earlier, Houston's mother, Sissy, reportedly spoke to her daughter and said nothing was out of the ordinary. Houston's cousin, Dion Warwick, also reportedly spoke to her over the phone earlier in the day and said everything seemed fine. Houston was staying at the hotel to attend music industry executive Clive Davis's annual pre-Grammy bash. It is the same event where she was introduced to the record industry nearly three decades ago. Hours after her death, the party still went on, but the scene was surreal. The Beverly Hills crime lab parked outside. Paparazzi camped out waiting for Houston's body to emerge. Inside, a star-studded lineup of speeches and song. Her final days were marked by questions about her sobriety. Houston, she was playing. I'm going to remember her just like that because that's the Whitney that I always had the pleasure of being around. The pop superstar would be dead the next day. Now, one report says Whitney Houston was found with prescription drugs inside her room here at the Beverly Hilton and that she may have drowned in the bathtub. Whatever happened, the coroner says if an autopsy is performed, it could be a day or two before that's done. Robin? And until then, we just don't know. Cecilia, thank you. Now an emergency. Hi, how you doing? This is security from Beverly Hilton. Hi, what's going on? There? I need a paramedic. Apparently, I got a 46-year-old female uh -huh. found in the bathroom. That's all I've got right now. But they're requesting paramedics. Oh, okay. Female found in the bathroom. What room is she in? I'm not sure. She fell or she was in the bathroom with the water. Four, four, six, four, four, three, four. I'm sorry. That's room four, three, four. Yes. Okay. And it's not east, west, or anything else. It's room four, three, four, That's three, four. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you don't know if she is conscious of breathing at all. Uh, apparently she wasn't breathing and she's 46 year old. She was not breathing? Yes. Okay, but she is breathing now? I don't know. Okay. She was, the person that called me was irate and okay. couldn't get much out of her. Okay, you have security? security going there now. Okay, we'll send police and fire over there with a uh, person not breathing. Did, did it sound like the person was still not breathing? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, we'll get them there for not breathing. Is there anyone we can give me to the room so I can try to do CPR? Yeah. yeah, we're going there now. Can you give me into the room so I can try to get CPR instructions? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, because she kept hanging up on us. Kept hanging up on you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. We're getting our units over there, okay? Okay, thank right, you. Thank you, bye-bye.
Okay. 